Hi everyone! In today's class, we have an easy flow yoga class that focuses on some back bends. So I hope this will feel good for you. So we'll start in a tabletop position and then from here go ahead any movement that you like in tabletop. So since we are going to focus on um, back bends um, in today's class, okay, maybe we'll do some rolling cats. Okay, so as you inhale, you look forward. Then as you exhale, you'll push and around through the back. Okay, so this is one option for you to start with. If you're choosing to do rolling cats, you can add shimmying the hip side to side. Okay, you can add that wiggle. Okay as you sit down into child's pose. Okay. But if you want to take regular cats and cows, go ahead. Okay. You can take that. Um, you can even do side rolls or barrel rolls. I like side rolls too. Okay. Just getting into that side body. Okay. And then make sure we go the other direction. Yes, so we breathe in and out. Okay. One more cycle here. Then after you do a few more breaths here, we'll come back to center. Okay. And then from here, we'll curl the toes. And then we'll lift up into our downward facing dog. Okay. And then any movement in down dog that you like. Okay. Bend one knee and the other. Maybe shimmy the hip side to side. Okay. And coming back to the breath. Yes, we inhale and exhale. Okay, one more cycle here. And then from here, we'll look forward. We'll walk our feet forward to the top of the mat. Okay? And then we'll stay folded for a bit. Okay, you can either just let your um, hands hang or hold on to the elbows. You can swing from side to side as yes, you breathe in. And out. Okay, one more cycle here. Just letting the upper body be heavy as you drape over the legs. One more breath. And then from here, we'll release. And then from here, we'll bend the knees slightly. And then we'll roll ourselves up to standing. And then you can press the shoulders back. You can roll the shoulders up and down. Maybe even give yourself a shake. Shake the hands, shake the hips. Okay. And then from here, we'll ground the feet again. Okay, we'll start to add in our movements. Inhale, we'll reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, you'll interlace the fingers behind, open through the chest. Okay, but as we open, let's zip up. Okay. And then as we do this, we're already working the upper back or back muscles here. Okay, but you want the front body contained. You can even look up if that feels nice. Maybe for some, you might even start to lean back. Okay, but it's not necessary, only if it feels good for you. And then as you exhale, we'll fold forward all the way down. Maybe reaching the hands over the head and your mouth. See how this feels for the shoulders. One more breath. And then from here, we'll release the hands. Come up halfway. Inhale. Hands can be on the shins. As you exhale, hands down. Right foot, step it back. Right knee will bring it down. Low lunge. Inhale, come up. As you exhale, we'll add the twist. Right elbow to left knee as you turn. One more cycle. Then as you exhale, we'll release hands down. You can step back to a tabletop or find plank. And then we'll transition through. You can modify the chaturanga halfway or lower all the way down. Breathing into our first, uh, well, not the first back bend. And then exhale into downward facing dog. Yes, you breathe in and out. Your right foot will step it forward in between the hands. We'll bring that left knee down. Inhale, we'll find low lunge. We won't be here very long. We'll add the twist. Hands come together. Left elbow to that right leg. Okay, as we breathe in and out. One more breath. And then from here, we'll release hands down. We'll step that left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale as we fold. Inhale, we'll rise up, standing up. 
exhale hands back by the sides okay let's take that on the left side okay, my nose is feel, feeling itchy inhale we'll reach the arms up exhale we'll interlace behind open through the chest as we fold forward again release the hands as we come up halfway and as you exhale hands down left foot will step it back we'll find high lunge inhale come all the way up we'll add the twist hands can come together or you can separate the palms if you like arms out to a t okay one more breath and then from here hands come down we'll find our plank breathing in then as you exhale you can do it modified again if you like maybe bring the chest down okay you can come up to your co baby cobra higher cobra or maybe up dog for some into downward facing dog okay from here left foot will step it forward in between the hands will come up high lunge inhale here as you exhale we'll twist again right elbow to that left thigh so you breathe in and out one more cycle go ahead you can play around with the arms okay. and then from here we'll release hands down right foot step it forward inhale we'll come up halfway exhale we'll fold inhale we'll come up standing up exhale hands back by the sides all right next round inhale arms will lift exhale we'll reach down folding forward inhale we'll come up halfway then as you exhale hands come down here okay, we'll find our plank breathing in then as you exhale choose again your transition you can modify maybe hold halfway inhale to your back bend of choice and then exhale into downward facing dog okay, breathing in and out okay, from here we'll lift that right leg up okay, we'll step it forward in between the hands from here we'll ground that left heel inhale we'll come up into warrior one okay now from here we'll interlace the fingers behind okay you'll find that zipper okay contain the front body can bend into that right knee and then from here okay we'll draw the shoulder blades together you can keep looking forward move the hands away from the bum or maybe you'll start to lean back any amount okay as we breathe in and out one more cycle here and then from here we'll reset okay we'll straighten that right leg you can shorten the stance if you like and then from here we'll fold halfway Okay. you can keep the hands where they are or you can set up the hands underneath the shoulders you can grab your blocks if you like so let me show it with blocks okay, again if you need your floor to be a little bit higher as we fold forward here breathing in and out okay you can add any movement that you like here you can wiggle the hips okay one more breath and then from here we'll re-bend the right knee hands come down as we step back into plank inhale and then as you exhale choosing your transition mindful of the breath here into our downward facing dog the inhale left leg will lift up we'll step it forward in between the hands We'll ground that right heel, inhale, we'll come up to our warrior one. Okay, keep that zipper again contained. We'll interlace behind, open through the shoulders or through the chest rather, as we maybe lean back. Okay, if this does not feel accessible, keep the torso lifted. You can move the hands away from the bum. All right, so we breathe in and out. One more cycle here from here we'll reset the upper body straighten that left leg you can shorten the stance as we fold over that left inner thigh okay then you can release the hands okay maybe add a bit of reaching the chest forward as you fold okay <clears throat> back hip or right hip can roll forward as you breathe in and out okay one more cycle here and then from here we'll release hands come down okay as we step back into plank 
Okay, choose again. You can modify. Knees can come down. You can bring the chest all the way down. You can lift up to a baby cobra. And then exhale, pushing back up into downward facing dog. Okay, breathing in and out. Nice. Two more cycles of breath here. Pushing away from the floor. One more breath in. And then from here, we'll bring the knees down. Okay? And then we'll bring our belly, chest all the way down to the floor. All right. Now from here, we'll reach back through the toes. Okay, you can ground all 10 toes. And then from here, we're going, let me just scooch it out. We're going to reach the arms forward, okay, over the head. Okay? Then from here, you can bring your forehead down on the mat, okay? And then we will press, press, we'll press the palms down here first. And then when you're ready, you will start to lift the legs away from the floor. Okay, as you breathe in and um, hold steady here. And then from here, we'll slowly release, lower down the legs. Okay? So actively pressing the palms down. Okay? And here we'll lift the legs again away from the floor. Okay? So we'll feel our butt, the hamstrings activate as well. And then exhale, we'll release. All right, this time, okay, we'll try alternating it. <clears throat> okay, now if you want to rest your head, okay, go ahead, rest your um, forehead at the back of your right palm. Okay, so from here, we'll lift the right leg up, keep that left leg pressing down. Then when you're ready, you will lift that left arm away from the floor. Okay, one more breath here. And then exhale, we'll release. Okay, we'll switch. Okay, so this time, forehead, the back of the left palm. Okay, ground your right leg down. From here, we'll lift that left leg up. We'll lift that right arm over the head. Okay, so we'll find that diagonal or lateral line. Okay, one more breath. And then from here, we'll release. All right, so we'll do that um, one more pair. You'll switch hands again, okay? As you inhale, lift the left uh, arm, right leg up. Hold steady here. And then exhale, we'll release. We'll switch, okay? From here, as you inhale, left leg, right arm will lift. Okay, reach through the right fingers as you reach through the left toes. One more cycle. And then exhale, we'll release. All right, okay, rest your forehead maybe on both hands. If you need to raise the lower back, you can bend the knees, and then you can swing your legs side to side. Here, one more cycle here. And then from here, we'll release. Hands will, uh, feet will come down rather. Okay, we'll push back up into tabletop. Okay, and then we'll curl the toes, and then we'll make our way into downward facing dog. Okay, and then see how your back here feels, okay? You can choose to be steady here in down dog as we breathe in and out. One more cycle here. And then from here, we'll look forward. We'll step or walk forward to the top. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands back by the sides. Okay, one more round. Inhale, arms will lift. Exhale, we'll fold forward, coming down to the mat. Inhale, we'll come up halfway. And then as you exhale, hands come down. Okay, we'll find plank first and then choose your transition. Okay, as you reach forward, elbows will bend. We'll find our chaturanga. Maybe this time, see how your back bend here feels and then into downward facing dog. Okay, breathing in and out. One more cycle here. And then from here, we'll bring the knees down. Okay, we'll lower all the way down again to the mat. So belly, chest all the way down. <laughs> you can flop down if you like. All right. <clears throat> now this time, okay, we're going to reach our arms back. 
Okay, so you can bring your forehead down again. And then as you inhale, we'll try to lift everything away from the mat. The head, the hands, and the legs. Of course, our belly and our hips are still down on the mat. One more breath. And then from here, we'll slowly release. All right, we'll add. Okay, let me just shift my blocks and my water bottle off to the side. Okay, we're going to move the arms. Okay, this is what we'll do. Okay, as you inhale again, you lift the head, the chest, shoulders, arms, legs away from the mat. And then from here, as if you're drawing a circle, maybe reach the arms over the head. As I hit my plants, swing the arms back again, and then lower down. All right, we'll do that again. Inhale, the lift. Finding locust here. Keep that zipper as we reach the arms forward. Touching my plants again, <laughs> we'll reach back. And then lower down. Okay, last round. Keep breathing. Inhale, we'll lift. And then as you exhale, maybe reach the hands over the head. Circle the arms back. And then we'll lower back down. And then from here, you can rest one ear on the mat, okay? Or you can rest your forehead on the back of your palms. If you need to release the back, you can bend the knees and then you can swing the legs side to side. Okay. One more breath here. And then from here, okay, we'll release the feet down and then we'll make our way up into tabletop. So take your time here. And then from here, okay, we're going to push and round through the back. Okay, and then we'll start to come into child's pose. But then take your time, maybe slow it down okay, as we sit. And then you can lower down the forehead. You can wiggle the hips side to side. Okay, one more breath here. And then from here, okay, we'll reach the arms forward, okay, and then we'll look forward. Okay. And then from here, maybe we'll explore. Instead of being on our um, palms, maybe try to be on your fingertips and see how maybe this changes a bit, um, how it feels for you in this shape. But from here, we'll reach the hands over to the right side. Okay. So go ahead, reach your hands over to the right as much as you like. You can even press your hips to the left. Okay, one more breath here. And then from here, we'll come back to center, still on our fingertips. We'll reach on over to the left side this time. Yes, okay, your hands reach on to the left, your hips can press towards the right. One more breath here. And then from here, we'll release. We'll come back to center. We'll slowly push up into tabletop. Okay, we'll do one more release here. We'll bring that left elbow down, left palm will face up. We'll interlace the right hand on top and then we'll twist towards the right. Okay, as you open the chest, reaching that butt back, you can stay steady here or you can wiggle the hips some from side to side. Okay, one more breath here. And then from here, we'll slowly release. We'll switch sides, right elbow down, palm faces up. We'll interlace that left hand on top, inhale. As you exhale, we'll twist towards the left this time, reaching the butt back, opening the chest. Okay. You can wiggle the hip side to side, okay. adding those small movements. One more breath here. And then as you exhale, we'll release. Okay, we'll come back to center. Okay, and then from here, we'll sit. Okay, and then we'll bring the legs out front. Okay, so we'll bring the legs out front. Inhale, we'll reach the arms up. And then as you exhale, we'll fold forward. Okay, so maybe for some, you'll be able to hold on to your feet. But you can really hold any part of your leg. Okay, if you have a strap or a belt at home, go ahead. Okay, even your towel, you can wrap it around your feet. As we fold forward here, holding here for a breath or two, or maybe three. And one more cycle here. 
and then from here we'll slowly release we'll come up and then we'll make our way down to the mat ah, all right now from here we'll bend the knees okay we'll just do one bridge keep the feet hip width apart we'll plant the palms down and then as you inhale we'll lift the hips all the way up Okay. Now, even though we feel this a lot on our butt and the hamstrings, bridge pose is also a backbend pose. So you can interlace the fingers. Well, you can keep your hands where they were, interlay or interlace the fingers. You can even shimmy the shoulders together. Staying here for another cycle of breath. So you ground down through the feet. And then as you exhale, we'll release, release the hands as we lower down. And then taking your time this time, we'll bring the feet as wide as the mat. Okay. And then you can bring your arms out to a T or maybe explore bringing the hands over the head, maybe holding on to opposite elbows. Okay. See how this feels? You can always adjust your arms. And then from here, we'll do windshield wipers. Okay. We'll just swing the legs side to side as okay. so you breathe in and out now if you prefer to do a hold on one side go ahead you can do that okay. or maybe just keep swinging the legs okay. as you breathe in and out one more cycle here and then from here we'll release we'll come back to center reset the arms if they're over the head okay reset the feet and then from here, you can hug the knees in towards the chest. Maybe draw circles with the knees. Okay, go in one direction. We'll go the other direction. Then we'll give ourselves a tight hug. Maybe draw the knees in. Maybe lift the head up. Inhale. And then as you exhale, we'll lower back down. We'll straighten out the legs. And then find any position or shape that feels good for you that can help you completely let go as you close your eyes here okay just giving yourself a moment here to just settle down giving yourself a moment to maybe settle in and then if you have the time you can be in a long shavasana you can stay here for as long as you like but once you get to that space where it feels you can just let go and then maybe if you need to move along you can start to wiggle the fingers and the toes maybe the hands will reach over the head giving yourself a nice big stretch Okay, as we hug the knees in towards the chest, you can roll over to any side. You can give yourself a moment here again. And then we'll push ourselves up to seated. Okay, we'll cross the legs. We'll close our eyes. Okay, as we ground ourselves, breathing in and out. And then as we bring our hands together, bowing down. Thank you so much for letting me guide you. Namaste. So I hope that was also fun for you, um, playing around with um, different variations with back bends being on our belly. So that will also help strengthen not just the back muscles, but also our belly muscles. I would like to thank you for watching. This is Every Yoga by John Daya, sharing everyday yoga for everybody.